to learn from the Tavern Museum of Art. And for my safety today, I am wearing a mask, okay? Hey, listen, guys. We have a very special top secret mission. My friends, they ask me, Tabi, what about the animals in the artwork? And I said, oh, that is such a good idea. We should investigate the animals and the art. And so I have called some very special specialists today. Let's go meet them, okay? Here we are. Hello, hello, my friends. This is Dr. Trent Davis from Virginia Tech. And these are two wonderful therapy dogs. This is Dr. Moose and Mr. Derek. Welcome, my friends. Thank you. Dr. Davis, would you tell us a little bit about our very special specialist friend, Moose? I sure will. Thank you, Detective. So this is Moose, he's eight years old, he's a yellow lab, and this is Derek, he's three years old, he's also a yellow lab. Moose and Derek both work as therapy dogs full time at Virginia Tech in the Student Counseling Center, Cook Counseling Center. And both Moose and Derek um, were trained originally to be guide dogs at Guiding Eyes for the Blind up in New York. And they both had a mild medical issue, and so they were not able to be placed with a visually impaired person. But they fortunately were recareered here and they work now full time as therapy dogs. And uh -huh. Moose is um, the uh, recent recipient of an honorary doctorate in veterinary medicine for his work. Oh my God! So he's a doctor now? He is a doctor. He can yeah. treat my boo boos? Uh, he can help with your boo boos. He'll lick them. That's his main treatment. Aha! Uh -huh. Very yeah, good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Now listen, he is a therapy dog. They both are. This is the job. What do you do as a therapy dog? Well, they help comfort people, they help drown them when they're upset, and they help them uh, feel safer ah, in, in the therapy session. I already feel so calm. They just nice. Yeah. Yeah, so nice. Very good. Very good. Very good. Well, Liz, I'm so glad to have you with us today. We're going to go through and see what animals we can find in the artwork. Oh, 
was doing the very first time at the museum. Wonderful, it's so glad to have it. Oh, amazing. This is one of my favorite galleries because. There's lots of shiny things in here, but there are also lots of animals. Okay? Now, after here, there is a kitty cat. Do what you is? like kitty cats? They do like kitty cats. Oh my goodness. Now, listen, mm -hmm. does Virginia Tech have any kitty cat therapy animals? They do not. Unfortunately, cats are a little bit harder to get to be a therapy animal. Absolutely. In public settings are harder for cats. Yes, yes. Most cats, not all cats. Doggies are the ones for the job. They are. Come on, boys. All oh, cats look at him. Yeah, they go, we have another horse. They, although I don't think I've ever seen this type of horse before in the real life. No, it's beautiful. It's very right? artistic, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, oh, a butterfly. See, oh, Derek loves the butterfly here, yes. He does. Look at that, that looks so good. Yeah. There's so many animals in this museum you never noticed before. Yeah, you know, lots, lots of animals in the art. Oh, here's a bunny rabbit. Oh, Derek. Do you like bunny rabbits, he Derek? He loves bunny rabbits. You like them? Sometimes he runs after them thinking they want to play. Oh. Mm -hmm. They don't think so. That, no, that, that would be a little scared. <laughs> <laughs> But this oh. morning he left one alone on the front that came right by the front porch. He, oh. he, he did not chase it, so I'm he very proud of him. He just wanted to watch. He said, hello, yes. friend. Yes. Okay, and then right over here. Oh, look at this one, guys. We have a polar bear. Yeah, what? The polar bear's here. Oh, Moose says, where's the polar there bear? Is, Moose. That's right there. Look at that. You like the polar bears? They're very big, they'd be much bigger than you. Stop. Oh my goodness, we're seeing so many different animals in the art, but in different ways. They've been in the paintings. Here they are sculptures, yes. Hmm. But did you know that animals also inspire the artwork too? I'm going to take you to a very special exhibition oh. for that. Very Sometimes people will draw pictures of the dogs and give them to me when they graduate. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. They got inspired, yes. Yeah. Now, boys, this is right because this is the artwork by Ray Cass. And he also worked at the Virginia Tech. Beautiful. Yes. And this artwork is inspired by his dog. Yeah. Wow. They would go walking outside and they go by the river. And his dog will pick up the pieces of sticks in the box. Oh, wow. And he tried to describe and he said, I'm going to make it these paintings that look like pieces of box and then the watery colors. Mm -hmm. And he would think of his dog again. Hear that? You guys inspired the famous artist? His dog did. Yeah, who says that's really cool? That's really cool. This artwork created, inspired by the dog. Yeah? Oh my goodness. Yay! We got the hot five. Ha -ha. Right, we get a treat now and then to remind the good boys. Absolutely. It's very good to remind of the good boys. They are both very good boys. Yeah? Now, Lee, I'm going to come down to the left. Okay. You boys, you guys have been so good today. I have so enjoyed having you with us. And listen, hey, I got a very, very fun gift for you. Yeah. You inspired Toby. And so Toby wanted to give you a gift. Yeah. Oh. So this was 
your picture when you graduated as a doctor moves, yeah? What you're saying, it look like you? You like beautiful it? Beautiful moves, do you like it? You like? Oh, wonderful. That you a good boy too. This has been so much fun. Thank you to my very special specialist, Derek and Dr. Moose and Dr. Trent. We thank you so much for being here today and we hope to see you next time.